hello guys welcome back to our channel varangal's beauty so in this video i'm going to share this glam look you can see how it turned very well so in this video i have tried two techniques one is contour with skeleton shape second one is lip hack with a highlighter so it's very interesting and amazing it turned out very well the both hacks worked excellent for me so watch video till end so let's get started so guys if you are new to my channel take a moment and subscribe to our channel also press the notification bell if i post a new video you get notified soon hello guys so first i'm going to do my eyes first for guidelines i'm using tape sticking it on the both eyes tape actually gives you a very sharp eye look and it is very easy so the next step is i'm going to conceal my eyes placing it and then blending it with a wet beauty blender so the wet beauty blender actually gives you a very smooth and clean look on your eyes don't forget your inner corner to blend so guys the first color i'm going to pick is a brown so brown is the base of my eyes taking with a fluffy brush placing it on the outer corner and blending it here i am slowly taking the color and then placing it spreading only on the outer corner and upper lid so taking the dress shade maroon i am going to place on the outer corner and going to blend it is the second shade i am using on my eye i am slowly going to blend it and in circular motion i am slowly taking it out on the wing guys this eye look is very simple and easy just you need to blend all the eye shadows together and pull the eye shadows outer corner so it gives you a very sharp eye look as always blend the eye shadows very patiently and perfectly you can see how my eye looks right now so guys the third shade i'm going to take is a black shade so slowly i'm going to take and place it because it's a very dark color same thing we are going to do placing it and then blending it in the outer corner and slowly going to blend in the inner corner so guys slowly take your brush in circular motion and then move in outer corner and then going to blend in a c shape in the upper lid so that it gives you very effortless and a beautiful eye so guys you can see how my eyes look so much depth right now we used only three colors that is brown maroon and black you can see i am slowly blending it in outer corner so that it gives you a very sharp look always remember that blending your eye shadows together make your eye look so much better and gorgeous so guys here i'm going to use golden shimmer i'm going to place the shimmer only on the lid feel it with your fingers so finger actually works more better than the brush take your own time to apply shimmer because we are going to apply only on the lid not on the outer corner or the upper lid of the eye shimmer makes your eye look so much better and it's very easy you can see how my eyes look so beautiful now it's time for liner so don't be worried or afraid of a liner because usually it takes more time but we have already a guideline that is a tape and it's very easy you can see how i am easy applying it on the lid so guys i'm so excited to remove tape let's see how it turned out very well or not oh my god it's very sharp and beautiful i love it please try this at home it actually gives you a very beautiful eyes so guys again i'm going to take the concealer and conceal my under eyes putting a dot on my inner corner and outer corner so slowly i'm going to blend it with a wet beauty blender so here you need to be very careful that you never spoil your eye look what you have created so slowly you're going to blend it take your own time to blend because it's very difficult to blend there so guys taking a black kajal i'm going to apply on my waterline so i'm going to apply a little bit darker because to give a depth in my eyes now with a small fluffy brush i am going to blend the kajal in my waterline so guys i am going to take maroon shade and blending on my waterline slowly now i am going to take golden shimmer and slowly place on my waterline to give that a very shimmerish look on my under eyes too so you can see i am slowly applying it 
so take your own time to do this i look and enjoy it guys so guys there is a little bit twist in this i look that is i am going to use liner again on my under eyes to give a very different look on my eyes so it looks very difficult but it's very easy you need to be very patient to draw this line but i have almost tried to do it so you also can do it guys i was literally trying to make sure that the line is very perfect you can see i have drawn a little bit curved in my inner corner so that it gives a very different look now i'm going to curl my lashes first with a curler and then going to apply mascara here i have applied 2 to 3 coats on my lashes so that gives you a very voluminous look now it's time for lashes lashes makes your eyes so much prettier and beautiful it enhances your eye look too now it's time for eyebrow so first i'm going to comb my eyebrows and then going to fill it slowly so i'm just going to fill my eyebrows i'm not going to do anything else because it already a perfect eyebrow so now it's time for base before applying foundation i'm going to use illuminator cream in golden shade so i'm slowly going to apply all over my face and spread it illuminator cream makes your skin so much healthier fresh brighter and shinier so after this we are going to apply foundation so i'm going to use my favorite foundation it is very good for indian skin tone so i love this foundation so next i'm going to take wet beauty blender and going to blend it all over my face so guys you can see here i'm tapping my beauty blender on my foundation you can see how smooth it is blending on my skin and my skin looks so much fresh because of your illuminator cream so take your time to blend the foundation because it may feel cakey after some time if you don't blend your foundation in a proper way never forget your jawbone your neck because it's also visible to others so guys again i'm using concealer to sharp my jawbone nose forehead and chin cupid's bow so again i'm going to blend it so it gives you a very structured face so guys now we are going to try a skeleton contouring hack place the product as usually you do your contour so now here you need to blend your contour in upward motion and in downward motion near your lips so it actually gives you like a skeleton finish so you can see the difference clearly between my both cheeks don't be scared of this technique it's very easy now we are going to lock our base with a compact So now it's time for blush with a big fat fluffy brush I'm going to apply blush on my cheekbones slowly blending it in upward motion So now it's time for highlighter so with the help of fan brush I'm going to apply highlighter on my cheekbones left and right and then on my nose forehead cupid bow and chin and don't forget to apply highlighter on your eyebrow bone now it's time for lipstick so before i'm going to apply lipstick i'm going to line my lips with a lip liner in the shade wine so lip liner makes your lips so much bigger and poutier lip liner actually gives you a guidance to apply lipstick So here I'm going to apply lip liner in my outer corners of lip not in the middle. So guys there is another hack I'm going to try that is a highlighter hack. So in this hack we are going to place highlighter on our lip liner area. So guys you can't see any difference on my lips. 
but after applying lipstick you can see much difference on my lips so first i'm going to apply my lipstick on my lips so here i'm going to apply lipstick so next we need lip gloss so in this hack we are going to use clear lip gloss because it gives better result so actually this hack worked very well for me So guys please try the makeup look it's very easy and glam so if you tried this tag me on insta handle fairy tale hijab 14 so guys hope you like my video and you are going to try my makeup look and tag me so that's it for today's video like comment share and subscribe to our channel also press the notification bell stay tuned stay bindas